Hi, uh, today we will be starting with induction motor which is under heading electrical machines. Uh, this is the another part, this is the another part of the electrical machines and another type of machine which is called the induction machine. So uh, basically an induction machine is just like a normal transformer. It works as the uh, transformer as the transformer is working. But the only difference is that in induction motor, the uh, secondary, which is the rotor right now, is a short circuit one. We will be starting with the construction of uh, induction motor and step by step we will be discovering the things which we are, uh, we are supposed to study. <coughs> starting with the constructions. In an induction motor, uh, likewise DC machines, DC generators or synchronous machine, there is a stator as we all know. The stator actually is a, before stator, the things which will be coming will be the yoke actually, the yoke, it, is, it will be having a yoke on which the stator will be fitted inside. <clears throat> this is my yoke on which my machine is actually built. This is my frame so that my machine will not drag here and there. But the use of the frame is only for supporting the motor, nothing else, nothing more than that. Now, coming to the part of stator. Stator is having three phase coils. Since if we are talking about, we'll be starting with the three phase induction motor. So, uh, in a three phase induction motor, there are three different coils. Uh, suppose that the coils will be in such a way that they will be providing us the uh, three phase rotating magnetic field, which we'll be discussing in a short while. In the on the stator, what obvious poles will be there? If it is a three phase injection motor, then it will be having at least three different poles or three pair poles. These are the two pole pairs right now, and This is the third one. So the wiring would be like one wiring will be going here and internally it will be joining the other blue port. Uh, this is the pole, another blue pole, and it will be coming out. This is the first wiring, and after that, since if it, it may be star connected, it may be data connected also. So this wiring would be going in some other part internally, suppose it is going to the uh, black port or red port, if it is going to the red port then it will be like this and internally it will be connected to the another red port and from this another red port that wiring would be coming out here. <sighs> Again after that this red wiring inside may be going to this black port and this internally it will be here and from here it will be going to here. So I will be having R, Y, B phases which will be getting connected to the supply means. Now when this is attached to the three phase supply, a uh, rotating magnetic field is generated over here. Rotating magnetic field is generated and it passes the air gap and after that it enters the rotor and I'm hitting right now this thing and taking it from here. So, 
for so that everybody should understand. So after that, there is a rotor. So a rotor is also having some coils, or you can say uh, it is having coils which are shorted together, shorted at both the ends. We'll be discussing that also. So it passes through it, and it an energy has generated over here, and this rotor starts rotating in, in the direction of the magnetic field. This is very important in induction machine. The direction of the rotation of the uh, magnetic field is the actual direction of the direction of the rotor. So this is very important point regarding object detect one type of uh, questions. So uh, apart from that, we have discussed the rotor also. This is the rotor. And uh, as said before, I said that the rotor is actually uh, a shorted one. So first of all, uh, after that, we'll be discussing about the rotor. <coughs> Uh, before going into rotor, uh, if we are discussing about the construction, so we can say that the stator is laminated for uh, my to reduce my eddy current losses and hysterical losses. So uh, we'll be discussing about the stator now. 